Hey, and welcome back to the revolution. My team is cranking about. I just want to kick things off by saying thank you to all of those who joined me last week in our Divas Korean live stream. I really enjoyed it and it's something I wouldn't mind doing again later down the line. Hopefully we can now bring the mic in right now. I'm feeling a lot better and yeah, I'm just glad that everyone seemed to enjoy it as much as I did. So hopefully, like I say, we can go back to doing that some other time. For those who didn't join us, you can see we've got a new attire, something a little bit more girly and <laughs> kind of stable-esque slash with Beth Phoenix possibly. Um, And we managed to defeat... Baron Corbin, who I've now decided is no longer worthy of us, so we ditched him. We defeated Tyler Breeze yet again, but unfortunately we fell victim to Kevin Owens, and now we're going to finally have our match with Tyler Breeze at NXT arrival, so let's kick things off straight right into that match. Hopefully we can get rid of him, because it has been going on for a while now, and I want something new. I want to I wanna go back to my heel roots, and hopefully... With him out the way, we can finally get back to doing that. The WWE oh. asked for this matchup. They've seen the back and forth over the weeks. Oh, they I like the this. They wanted I wasn't expecting at this at all. <laughs> I love how they've got like, all these things like Renee Young. I think that was Scott Stanford. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if he's still with the company or not. I don't think I've seen him in a while. Unless he's done something like Superstars, which I don't really watch that often. Our main event. I think if it's our last match, it should really let us do like a break in. And I'll just beat the living crap out of him one last time. <laughs> oh, Tyler's out first. Yeah, for anyone who didn't watch last week's live stream, I'd probably recommend going back. Like you said, there was no mic because I wasn't very well, but there was some like interesting moments. There was um, a few video clips or cutscenes you could say of Tyler Breeze. We had the Baron Corbin mini feud, which is kind of good, and I think that might be something we revisit. I'm not quite sure. And then obviously, Kevin Owens beat the living crap out of us, but you don't need to watch that bit. You can watch all the rest. <laughs> Two competitors going head to head to decide which not gonna one is truly the best. Damn. Come on. I can skip it obviously. But it is a rival, so we need to give him his entrance. It's a shame that you can't edit the superstars entirely within my career. We could have even like his Brooklyn one, which I'm pretty sure we were, were at the Royal Rumble, if I'm not wrong. Hmm. And definitely, like, after speaking to Link quite a lot, of you, I think it's something we've all decided that next year the do definitely need some sort of diva involvement. I don't know, like, in regards to if there's much in, in this, but like, as far as playing as a diva, it's definitely something they, they need to invest in. Make it like the Bailey kind of career. She started off like in the ranks and now she's Diva's champion. Or you could even like argue that a Sasha Banks career. And approaching the ring, Both arguably is good, but the very different. <laughs> I'm not going to keep the entrance on. I do love the skirt, but it's kind of too long. Come on, Tyler, one last time. And there's the bell. This match has started. This is a classic. Two guys battling. A guy and a girl, JBL. Remember, only the Get it right. survive. Dare you. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. It's not going to go like that. He's looking to create some separation here. Oh. Oh, you have to be careful when you're in the ring with Tyler Breeze. He's not above using his cell phone as a weapon. I'm not above using any weapon as a weapon. Oh, and the <laughs> you want to be like that. Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze spots the chance, and he takes it. Tyler Breeze taking advantage right now. Out. Oh. 
<laughs> right in the nose. <laughs> with the press. Nutcracker. That'll teach her. Trying to get under his I really need to change my taunt. When Tyler Breeze isn't looking to gain the advantage by illegally using his cell phone, he does have an impressive repertoire of kicks worth talking about. His missile drop kick is pretty amazing, Cole, as well as that Inzaguri. I'll give him the chick kick. <laughs> I don't think so. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. I can go all night. Breeze. The way things are going in there. Sounds crude. It's not my thing. My gosh, this is a beating. Come on, Tyler. I wonder if I can get Tyler's boots all out to be fair with the skirt. It's ridiculous. He's got him hooked. I don't think so. Tyler. Not today, too fast. Let's check it outside. Whoa. Oh, the thing about Tyler Breeze's beauty shot is that it. I've seen that now. That makes me miss even more like backstage brawling things. Next, you're on your back. Look it up. I remember like in the old SmackDown League when I was a lot younger and like here. flying the helicopter and stuff. Like hang on to the ladder and there's the car and the motorbike. Here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. God, it used to be so good. And yet you never saw any of that on the telly, well, at least not a helicopter. So like, why can't they bring that sort of stuff back? You do understand it, but <laughs> I think at least in the games you should kind of get some there can only more be crazy. Dog here in the WWE. I like crazy. And a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best Ooh, in shoot. the business. Nearly counted myself out as she was yapping on. Beauty shot. We've seen it flatten some big names so far, including Hideo Itami, Sami Zayn, and Xavier. Yeah, well, all of those have been avoiding me. So and of course, it's going to flatten those guys. <laughs> it's crazy actually come to think like him mentioning Xavier was like what he was like in NXT and like what he is now. <laughs> it's crazy. I have to say like I originally wasn't a huge fan of Xavier Wood. But in New Day he's absolutely amazing. He's got some serious charisma. I don't think there's many like him who do. I know Big E's got a lot of charisma, but obviously outside of New Day. Another amazing singles contest. These mm. two never see He's got really comedic timing as well, which is something so, so rare. <laughs> and, I, and I have to say, I'm quite in love with the up and down down Both of these competitors have channel. So much resolve. It's going to take a minor miracle. To keep <laughs> Especially the game of Garland. You know, if you haven't watched like Becky Lynch, um, not Becky Lynch, Bailey and Sasha Banks, it's so the good. The he brought with him was covers. Or is it Pogo versus the boss? Definitely worth checking out. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. No kidding. Over and and over and over again. This could be a close one if I'm not careful. Oh, we know what this is. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. And asking him to say it properly. <laughs> this is like that random person in the audience who always goes, Ooh, what's that all about? It's not even a chant. There he goes again. I can still hear him. He's out. What happened to me at the finisher? Stay down. Stay down. She already had two. Going for the big one. I, I absolutely love the animation. The chick is so it. good. It's the this best angle. one oh they've had. Gosh. Looks even worse. Probably full stop. I just wish it was a bit more. Because hey, if you're not close enough, it just spins around. Oh, I thought he'd kick out. Tyler didn't have what it takes to hang with us. God, we got a crap scar. And just some of the action we saw during the match. Oh, they threw see how pretty he looks now. <laughs>
Here's your winner, the hardcore icon, Evelyn. A very I really don't understand why, why they took like out L. Something just wasn't right. And that He's obviously in there's like El Hondero and appears to things like that, and they've decided to take it out. Right, that's crazy because there's three and a half, but two on there. So confusing. Let's see if we can be nasty to Renee again. That's also something we did in the live stream. And she just smiled and shrugged it off as she always does. Pure Renee. <laughs> definitely lovely how they've got Renee but I kind of wish there was a bit more fluidity to it probably butchered that word but <laughs> oh she didn't want to talk to us yet again our rank increased uh oh we're approaching Kevin Owens Sarge Finn Bella we've got to take out Owens first I wonder where that leaves us now. There wasn't really any finale kind of feel about it. But I think that's the end of the tutorial. <clears throat> My relationship with him's gotten higher, whatever the hell that means, but we're no longer in a rivalry with him. I wonder if now we can like get him on our team. Hmm. What does that mean? You don't know what that block means, but you're the only one who seems to have one. You think we'll have to look into that? Oh, it looks like we are going on a Baron Carbon, so fingers crossed that's what we can do. We can finally ship Baron Carbon and maybe we can get him to retire. <laughs> but this has been part nine of my Diva's Cream. I hope you're still enjoying the series so far. If you are, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk. And until next time.